Presence is really important on the wedding day. It's what separates a professional photographer from a, a novice uh, wedding photographer. Um, we always check with the church coordinators, with the ceremony officiants, the rabbi, the priest, to see where we can stand, what their policies and procedures are. The rules that they put in place on the wedding day need to be abided by. And those are all things that a professional photographer should be able to still do their job and not have an issue. We never fire flash during the ceremony. We do take flash pictures during the processional. A lot of times we'll have a bride in the wedding party outside or outside the room in a vestibule area somewhere where we can actually put a second photographer, getting those last minute candid moments when bride's looking at dad, when the wedding party's, you know, cutting up or getting serious before the wedding. Um, when the processional happens, that's where a lot of times we'll courteously be kneeled down towards the front of the altar, towards the front of the stage, to where we can shoot with a long telephoto lens and get those shots of bride coming in. Um, those are the last flash pictures that we will take before the ceremony. Now, during the ceremony, that's where uh, we don't take any flash pictures like I mentioned a minute ago. Some photographers will choose to be on stage with the bride and groom. To me, this is a huge distraction. Uh, if you're using a close-up lens, you have to get that close. And then I've had comments that other photographers sometimes walk around the bride and groom during the ceremony. I don't know what artistically they think they're getting that we can't get with a long telephoto lens. You know, if we're shooting behind the guest, but with that long telephoto, we can get close-ups of the rings, the kiss, the vows, without anyone truly being able to notice that we're even there during the ceremony. Um, well, I had a wedding one time where the uncle of the bride was an amateur photographer, and he actually hid in the in the baptistry. So during the ceremony, when the bride and groom were exchanging vows, his head started to pop up, and he would take a few shots and come back down. Obviously, he didn't get anything good picture-wise, but he was such a distraction. Um, you know, that's just kind of where... You know, there are a lot of great photographers that are professionals that just don't specialize in weddings, and that's where having the ability to know where to be in the right place at the right time, you almost have to be one step ahead as well, too. If you've realized you need to be over there, it's too late. You need to be there before the shot happens. If the shot materializes and the bride turns around and it happens, you're there to get the shot. If she doesn't turn around or something else happens, you just have to predict where to be in the right place at the right time. And certainly our biggest compliments are when the guest and the bride say that night or even, you know, in a thank you card after the wedding day, we didn't even notice that you were there on the, on the day of the ceremony for the ceremony reception. We just did our job, blended in, and that's how we can get the best candid and photojournalistic shots. Mm -hmm.